In this clip, we'll talk about lighting your scene when making interior render images. The first thing you'll notice when rendering your project is that interiors of the building are too dark, especially when they're not exposed to direct sunlight, as in this example. With plenty of interior light sources turned on, the missing amount of light will be compensated for, especially when making a night render. But what if we want a daylight render with the lights off? If we render this building with the camera that's outside, the interior appears even darker than before. In the Render Settings dialog, the diffuse depth is set to 3 at the moment, which means that the light will be reflected 3 times from surfaces. With a diffuse depth of 5, the interior becomes slightly brighter, but not quite bright enough. Here's a trick that can be used when the camera is inside the building. Change the primary and secondary intensity to 300%. The interior is now much brighter, almost perfect considering the sun is at a late afternoon position. If we render the scene with these same settings, but with the camera outside of the building, it becomes obvious that not only the interior, but the whole image is overexposed. Regardless if we make an outdoor or indoor rendering, the interior is always seen by the camera, as in this example. Therefore, we need a solution that works in both cases. Placing window lights or area lights outside of the building that are parallel to the windows and have exactly the same size as the window glass will solve the problem. Place these window lights close to the glass. In this case, we set the main intensity to 200% and the light distance to 12 meters. The result is almost perfect. Perhaps the sensitivity of the camera can be changed in order to make the image even brighter. Let's see how these window lights work when the scene is rendered from outside. At first glance, both the interior and exterior seems okay, but if we take a closer look, unwanted traces of window light are visible. The solution is to have these window lights on a dedicated layer that can be easily turned on or off. and have another layer with identical window lights, but with some changes. Move the window lights on a duplicate layer to the inside of the windows. When you render the scene with an interior camera, use the window lights that are outside. When you render the scene with an outdoor camera, use the window lights that are inside. 